the secondary fuel filter and the fuel filter housing is going to do two important jobs. When the fuel leaves the horizontal fuel conditioning module, it enters the secondary fuel filter, which we do our secondary fuel filtering with a smaller filter. The secondary fuel filter also contains our low pressure fuel regulator. We've already discussed earlier, and we're going to discuss even more in detail when we get to the injectors. When we remove our filter, let it drain out. As you can see, it's pretty fine. It's going to filter from the outside in, so if there's any contamination, you can see it on the outside of the filter. Looking at the bottom of the bowl, make sure we have no contamination, because on the left is where the fuel enters, circles around, and goes out on the right, returning back to the horizontal fuel conditioning module. Make sure there's no contamination at the bottom of this bowl. If there's contamination, this is the fuel coming from the conditioning module. So go back to the conditioning module. If there's any water or contamination coming to this point, it should have been removed already. Go back and correct the problem at the horizontal fuel conditioning module. Now make sure this is clean and finished up if you have to. One of the things we're going to have to do when we restart the vehicle, we've got to make sure this is complete, has plenty of fuel. Now you can accomplish that several ways. You can turn the key off and on and get the vehicle to run the fuel pump for a few seconds. If you want to be sure, since you've serviced it and you're already in the service mode, go into your scan data, bi-directional information, and turn the fuel pump on and run it for 10 or 15 seconds to make sure there's an adequate supply of fuel here. Because when we leave here, it's going to go into the fuel lines that connect to the individual heads. On each cylinder head, we have channels connectors to each injector. This connection here is a check valve. Once the fuel passes this check valve into the passages, into the head, it will not come back out. This is why we call it a deadhead system. We've talked about earlier. Now we're going to mention later on if we have a problem that lets exhaust pressure get into these channels, it's going to damage these check valves and they need to be replaced. I'm just reminding you of that now so when we talk about it then, it's going to try to tie it together. We have so many facts. We want to try to give you as much information as we can each place and build progressively on this information because it's a large amount of information to get your arms around the first time.